Heard that pebbles in pots help drainage, or that plants clean your indoor air? Not quite. Today we're busting the most common plant care myths that could be harming your houseplants. These tips sound logical, but science says otherwise. We'll dig into why these myths persist, and what you should do instead. I'm Xander Van, and welcome to Mad Scientist Organic Grower. We'll run experiments, look at real data, and build a better way to grow. Indoor growers, this episode is for you. Growing inside isn't a compromise, it's a superpower. Grab your lab coat, let's get myth-busting. Let's start with a classic gardening tip you've probably heard a hundred times. It's the so-called pebble layer myth. For generations, people have believed that adding a layer of pebbles or gravel to the bottom of a plant pot helps water drain away from the roots, supposedly preventing soggy soil and root rot. But in reality, this old advice does the exact opposite of what you want. Let's break down the science behind it. When you add a coarse layer like gravel or pebbles beneath your potting soil, water doesn't just flow straight through. Instead, it stops moving at the boundary between the fine soil and the coarse gravel, creating what's called a perched water table. This means water collects and lingers right above the pebbles, leaving the soil at the bottom of the pot much wetter than you'd expect, an ideal environment for root rot to set in. If you compare two pots, one filled only with soil, and one with a pebble layer at the bottom, you'll see the soil-only pot actually drains more efficiently and keeps plant roots healthier and happier. So, what's the solution? It's simple. Skip the pebbles entirely. Instead, always use pots with plenty of drainage holes at the bottom. These holes are designed to let excess water escape, preventing water from pooling around your plant's roots. Pair those drainage holes with a high-quality, well-aerated potting mix that allows water to move freely and roots to breathe. Let the soil and the drainage holes do their jobs, no extra layers needed, no gravel, no root rot, just pure, effective drainage and thriving roots. Trust the science, not old gardening traditions that don't hold up to scrutiny. Your plants will reward you with stronger roots, lusher growth, and a lot fewer problems. Happy planting! Next up, the air purifying plant myth. Yes, plants can absorb some toxins, but only in tiny sealed chambers, like in that famous NASA study. In your home, you'd need hundreds of plants to match a basic air filter. The real air cleaning comes from opening a window or using a HEPA filter. Plants boost your mood and connect you to nature, but they won't detox your air. Enjoy your plants for their beauty and mental benefits. If you want cleaner air, invest in ventilation. Don't fall for the marketing hype. Love your plants, but know their limits. Science over slogans. Misting feels nurturing, but it barely changes humidity for your plants. Water from misting evaporates in minutes, offering only a fleeting effect. Real humidity control requires a constant source, like grouping plants or using a humidifier. Misting too often can even cause leaf diseases. For crispy leaf tropicals, cluster them together to create a humid microclimate. For best results, use a humidifier to maintain steady humidity. Save the spray bottle for cleaning leaves. Skip the misting ritual, your plants need real solutions. Humidity, not droplets, is what they crave. Science wins again, lush growth awaits. Think a bigger pot means a bigger plant? Think again. While it might seem logical that more space equals more growth, plants don't work that way. In fact, giving your plant too much room can actually do more harm than good. A small plant in a huge pot sits in too much wet soil, risking root rot. The excess soil holds onto water for longer, creating a soggy environment that's tough for roots to handle. The roots can't absorb all that water, so the soil stays soggy and suffocates them. Roots need both air and moisture, but too much water means not enough oxygen, leading to decay and disease. Overwatering and excess nutrients build up, stressing the plant. You might notice yellowing leaves, wilting or stunted growth, classic signs your plant is struggling to survive in its oversized home. The right way? Repot into a pot just 1-2 inches wider than the current one. This small step up gives your plant the space it needs to expand its roots without overwhelming them. This gives roots room to grow without drowning them. The plant can establish itself, drawing up water and nutrients efficiently, and you'll see healthier, more robust growth. Always check soil moisture before watering again. Use your finger or a moisture meter to make sure the soil is dry a couple of inches down before adding more water. Gradual growth is healthy growth. Plants thrive when they are allowed to grow at their own pace, filling out their pot before moving up in size. Don't drown your plant in kindness. Too much water or space can be just as harmful as too little. 
Use resources wisely. Less is more. Healthy roots, happy plant. When you match the pot size to the plant's needs, you set it up for long-term success. Skip the swamp, grow with intention. Smart repotting saves lives. Remember, thoughtful care and the right pot size are the real secrets to a thriving plant. Here's why indoor growing is a game changer. Indoors, you control light, temperature, humidity, everything. No more weather disasters or pest invasions. You can give plants perfect conditions year-round. Tools like heaters, fans, and humidifiers let you dial in the ideal environment. Hydroponics and vertical farming maximize space and efficiency. Grow more food in less space, right in your home. Indoor systems mean faster, healthier, and more predictable harvests. You're not just a gardener, you're the architect of your plant's universe. Total control, total potential. That's the power of the indoor grower. Let's bust a few more myths about houseplants and what they can actually handle. You might be surprised by how adaptable your leafy friends really are, even when you think you're breaking the rules. First up, you've probably heard, never repot in winter. This advice gets repeated a lot, but it's not always true. For indoor plants, the seasons don't matter as much as you think. Your home's temperature and light stay pretty steady so you can repot whenever your plant needs it, not just in spring. If your plant is root-bound, struggling, or outgrowing its pot, waiting for the right season can actually do more harm than good. The plant's health comes first. Just be gentle with the roots, use room temperature water, and give your plant a little extra TLC. Most will bounce back quickly, even in the middle of winter. Next, let's talk about succulents. People think they're indestructible, but that's not true. Overwatering is actually the number one killer of succulents. Let the soil dry out completely between waterings and don't rush to put them in direct sun. Sudden changes can cause sunburn leaving ugly spots on their leaves. Succulents thrive with lots of bright light and very little water. If you're unsure, it's better to underwater than overwater. Remember you can love your plants too much. Too much attention, especially with water, can do more harm than good. Instead of following strict schedules or trends, pay attention to what your plants are telling you. Look for signs of thirst, growth, or stress. Plants are surprisingly resilient and can recover from a lot if you meet their real needs, not just what you read online. So trust your instincts, observe your plants, and remember, smart, attentive care always beats following strict rules. Your plants will thank you for it. Ready for the ultimate indoor growing hack? It's all about the quality of light. Use tailored spectrum LED grow lights. Blue light fuels leafy growth. Red light triggers flowering and fruiting. Modern LEDs let you control the spectrum for each growth stage. Start with blue heavy light for strong seedlings, then switch to red for big harvests. Full spectrum programmable LEDs give you total control. You can even tweak other wavelengths for custom results. It's like talking directly to your plant's biology. This is how you get next level yields indoors. Light is your secret weapon. We've debunked the biggest plant myths and armed you with real science. Remember, pebbles create swamps, plants don't clean your air and misting is mostly for show. Think like a scientist, observe, question, and experiment. Every plant and space is unique. Your best tool is curiosity. Now it's your turn. Share the wildest plant myth you've heard in the comments. Like, subscribe, and join our community for more myth-busting adventures. Let's grow smarter together. Thanks for watching and being part of the Mad Scientist Organic Grower crew. Keep questioning, keep growing. The biggest lesson? Don't just follow advice, test it. Your plants give you data every day. Use it. Be curious, experiment, and trust science over tradition. Indoors, you have the perfect lab to try new things. Ditch the pebbles, get a humidifier, and explore LED lighting. Thanks for joining me. Now go grow something awesome. Stay curious, stay green.